What's up, y'all? I already know what it is, man. Get money, get money, get money, get money. And today, uh, this is also, uh, before I get started, this is a, a Spider Man Homecoming spoiler review. And this is also a uh, part of the Marvel Awesome Alliance walkthrough. Alright, just to let y'all know. So I'm sorry for the guys that actually enjoy the walkthrough, you feel me, and then has to watch through the spoilers. My advice is you go see the movie or don't give any fluffs at all. That's my advice because I'm doing this because this is the only game I got with Spider Man other than the first Awesome Alliance, which I already beat the whole game. Which y'all can see on YouTube also on the probably is a playlist. You feel me? Which y'all can see. And that's the only other game I got with Spider Man in it. You feel me? So Oh well man. So in the spoiler review, man. Oh yeah, also for the people that watched the walkthrough, you feel me? Um uh, for a little back in the game they did have me freaking fight A Bomb and Justice again. So we wanted to redo that. But it's cool. So guys, for the people that seen the movie, what's up man? Uh, I usually don't do spoiler reviews. But I, I felt like I had to. I was gonna do it with the Logan movie, you feel me? But I just never had got. Oh my, this nigga about to die. I just never got to freaking. Oh my, what in the world is going on? I just never got to do it. You know, what was, what was stuff that was happening, you feel me? Because I was gonna do uh, play Mark X Men Origins Wolverine and then talk about the review in the back of it. That was the plan. But now, uh, let's talk about the Spider Man Homecoming. Yo, that, that movie was cool for real. I don't know if it was the uh, best Spider-Man movie, but um, it's definitely I, I don't know. I don't know. Cause I say overall was it a good movie? Of course, uh, nothing was really bad about the movie. You feel me? Uh, and uh, was it better than the first trilogy? I don't know. It was, it's different. You feel me? This one, uh, Homecoming, it's a much lighter tone and comical. And it shows Peter in high school more than it, you know, than the first trilogy. I, I, I think that's definitely what is. Oh, why are you going after me? Which is definitely, I think, is better than. You feel me? Uh, it actually show. It's like, it's not even like a just like, it's a Spider Man movie, but it's not like a full on action movie, a superhero movie. You feel me? I mean, it's a superhero movie regardless, but not like fully. Like, it also is like one of them teenage comedy movies, like from like early 2000s or something. You feel me? It's definitely dumb type of movies too. And, um, yeah, man. Uh, so it's definitely different from the other ones, way different. Especially with it. I thought this was supposed to be a younger Spider Man. After I was doing some info, man. Freaking the dude that plays Spider Man is 21. I'm like, what? I thought that was actually going for a real teenager. In which I thought the dude that was Tom Holland, I thought he was freaking like a real teenager. I thought he was really like 15, 16 or something. But the dude, 21, I'm like, what the fuck? But that nigga look younger shit. But, yo, son, that was a good movie, though. I bangs with it, you feel me? He ain't do bad at all. He was pretty, he like, like, best, like, like, characteristics, characteristics rise, you feel me? And traits, character traits. That was probably the best Peter Parker. Spider-Man, I'm not sure, because that, in that, in that movie is the youngest Spider-Man than the other ones. Was the other Spider-Mans, I mean, the other, the other Spider-Mans in the other movies. Uh, the first trilogy with uh, Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. I guess I think Spider-Man was a senior in high school because in the first Spider-Man he was in high school. In the second one, they they acting grown as a mug in that movie, bro. He about to marry Mary Jane and stuff. I'm like, what in the world? Shit, Mary Jane trying to become an actress? And I'm like, dang, they acting grown as a mug. You feel me? So uh, then uh, yeah. So most of them in the Andrew Garfield, the one in the Amazing Spider-Man movies, his wasn't that bad too, but. Now, I think he was a, a senior too. So this Spider-Man, bro, in this movie, a sophomore, and was only 15. You feel me? So I, that, that was cool because I think I think they did something like that so you can actually see him grow as a character and grow in him as him being Spider-Man, which is but which is cool as, as a mug. You feel me? I banks with that. Uh, now let's get on to uh, all the characters: Tony Stark, Iron Man, Robert Downey Jr. He did phenomenal with, as he usually do as Iron Man. Um, is is what y'all pretty ex like? What y'all expect Iron Man to be in the movies? You feel me? As y'all can see in the trailers, his, basically like Spider Man is like his protege, basically. You feel me? And trying to, you know, what I'm saying, thinking like, should he be in Avengers or not? Something like that. He just waiting for him to grow more as a as a as a hero before he even pulled a plug on doing that. You feel me? Because you know stuff crazy right now with Captain America and y'all yeah, seen Civil War. You feel me? I'm pretty sure anybody that's going to see Spider-Man Homecoming has seen Civil War. For I haven't met a person that hasn't seen Civil War unless they're old. No disrespect to old people. Uh, 
Yeah, but yeah, man, uh, who else? Uh, the black girl, bro. Uh, the black girl, uh, Peter Parker's love entrance. I think her name was Liz. Yeah, it was Liz. And uh, she's a senior. You feel me? And, you know, Peter Parker got feelings for her. They in the same little academics club or something like that. You feel me? And they both feel each other. You feel me? And something I found interesting that I was Googling, researching, you feel me? Uh, the, the the female that plays the, the senior in the movie, she is 27 years old. When I was Googling this, I was like, what the fluff? Shorty really 27? She look nowhere. Yo, black do not crack. I tell you that right now. Cause she looking nowhere near 27. Like, I'm like, yo, this is crazy, B. 27? That is wild. And she's like, in the movie, she's playing an 18-year-old. I'm like, and then at the time when I knew, realized this, I didn't know that uh, the dude that played Peter Parker, Tom Holland, I didn't think he was 21. I thought he was like 15, 16. So I'm like, in a movie, like, when they was like doing these, like, these little, you know how them, like, you know, them little moments is with teenagers and love and all that. So I'm like, son, so this is, like, low-key weird for him because he, like, 15 doing this with a 27-year-old. Then as I'm Googling, I see the nigga 21. I'm like, what in the fluff? I think when they filmed the movie, he was 20 or 19. No, no, 20. But still, that, that joke's still crazy. It is. You feel me, guys? Um, so, yeah, man. Um, that was wild. And then, a plot twist in the movie, y'all. Liz is actually the person. Mike Keaton, the one who playing Vulture, is his daughter, son. And we find that out. That, yo, that plot twist was so freaking crazy. And we find that out. A freaking homecoming night when Peter about to take Liz to the mother fluffing. Uh, freaking, what, what's it called? Homecoming. He go to the house. Who opened the door? Vulture, bro. Of course, I forgot a Vulture real name. It's Tombs or something, I think. Yeah, it's Tombs. Uh, so, yeah. Um, I remember the first name. But, yeah, yo, that joint was crazy, yo. And you seen without the suit, of course. But, yo, and Peter was just acting awkward the whole entire time, bro. He was acting pale, scared, confused. And, like, you know, he was acting this way the whole entire time with him. Because, uh, Vulture, he was taking him and his daughter to prom, like, in the car and stuff, you know, you feel me? And, uh, when they was talking, well, I mean, Peter wasn't talking, he was just acting weird. Freaking, you know, you know, uh, you know, Vulture being a regular dad was asking some questions. And, Laura, not Laura, Liz, she was talking too much. You feel me? Talking about all the stuff that was happening with Spider-Man and him, uh, saving the, uh, academic team from falling off the, uh, Monument building, I think it was. I see that in the trailers. So what happened there? Uh, Spider-Man trying, you know, see who dealing weapons or whatever. You feel me? I think he knows his vulture by now. But yeah, and he went and that was only and it was in Maryland. But only way he can get to Maryland is he go on his academic thing that he quit from to see when the, the uh, when Tony Stark needed him whenever. So he was just making sure he went back on there because they're going to DC for um, a championship tournament, something like that. You feel me? And uh, freaking what's from a call? Yeah, he went, uh, went there to the place to see what the weapon dealing with that. No, it wasn't even a weapon dealing. Like they were trying to steal weapons from uh the damage control, which is owned by Tony Stark. He was trying to steal that. He got, I mean, just know he messed up, got unconscious, woke up somewhere else, got out eventually on the day of the championship thing, and uh got there a little bit too late and some stuff was happening. Oh yeah, they had a uh, him. Uh, his man's Ned, the Asian dude you see in the uh, movie. I think he's Asian. Might be Philippine. I don't know. Uh, he had a bomb that he had from like the first fight or whatever from uh, Vulture, but he didn't know it was a bomb. He just thought it was an artifact or something. He was going to use that as proof to tell Stark that they're up to something or whatever or something's happening. He found out it's a bomb. So when he find out, he's trying to hurry up and get there and the bomb explodes. But it's not like a serious bomb, but... It's not like serious, like the whole thing blow up, but it's enough to mess up the elevator and almost fall. You know, Wolverine tried his best to get there, which he did, and stuff. He saved uh, Vulture Daughter, all this whatever stuff. So, before we even get to like that and stuff, and some other stuff happened. What else happened? Uh, the night of uh, Shorty had a Liz had a party right at the crib. Everybody was over. You know, Peter talking to him. That wasn't even Peter, it was Ned talking his stuff, because Ned eventually found out that Peter was uh, Spider Man by accident. But, um, yeah, man. And, uh, freaking, um, what was our friend saying? Yeah, they find out, so when he know he go to a party, because Ned talking shit in gym class, talking about, 
Oh, Peter knows Spider Man, nigga. You can't be saying that, bro. Everybody know, especially his comic com comic con nerd ass should know that uh, when you uh, when you a freaking superhero, you can't be revealing your identity out. But he did. He all he said he was knows because uh, they overheard Liz talking about oh she likes Spider Man all this other stuff. So then they were talking about more shit. And Peter's had to make shit up in the spot talking about uh freaking mother fluffing. Uh, he could bring Spider Man to the party, whatever. Where they at? No, it was that dude Flash. The Flash, yo, that's another thing. Before we even get on the Flash, those people talking about. And Flash talking about, oh, bring Spider to the party, and they was like, alright then. And that they went there. Flash started talking some more stuff, stuff. You feel me? So that's when like fluffy. So Peter went outside, about to change, whatever. Then he see a big old Flash and purple lights. I'm like, oh shit, what is that? And you know he wanted to go see who that was. That was before we even get to that though. Let's keep on talking about. So yeah, so freaking. All right, so um, Michael Keaton, Vulture, or whatever, he was asking, like, oh, how, how you know, I don't think how you knew each other, but questions, or whatever, and Peter was like, oh, that, that, that was a good party Liz had, and Liz was like, oh, yeah, you was barely there, you know, saying, and that you was only there for, like, what was it, like, two seconds? You're not really, you know, that little, that little um, figure of speech that females be, oh, you was only there for, like, two seconds, like, like stuff like that, you feel me? And so, uh, what's your McCall? He was like, ah, oh, really? Because he, he realized, because he said Peter voice sound familiar, something like they don't know each other from anywhere, because, you know, folks, you're fighting Spider-Man, you know, I guess you recognize the nigga voice, you feel me? And, uh, what else happened? Um, uh, freaking. So, yeah, he really, he, he, I think he's starting to catch on that Peter Spider-Man or something. And, uh, so the gir girl, Liz, he's keeping on talking stuff like that. Uh, so then when, uh, uh what's my call? Stark, not Stark, freaking vulture was asking questions and stuff about um the little thing at the mountain that monument mountain in which freaking spidey saved uh everybody uh so yeah liz was like oh he wasn't even there and then you know stuff was getting intense liz ain't realized that peter and vulture was realizing what was going on you feel me and then peter was like lied and said oh he was watching it from the ground but nah, he was starting to catch on that that Peter is Spider Man stuff. You feel me? And Liz kept on running. I'm like, yo, I don't even know I don't want to mess with Home Girl anymore. But she straight dry snitching on you like a mug. You feel me? Cause so and then and then right as soon as they got there, uh, Vulture said uh, told Liz go in there real quick. You need to have a dad talk quote dad talk with Peter. And then that nigga starting to threaten Peter and shit. But he said he going you know take it easy not take it easy on like. Give him this one chance because he did save his daughter in the Monument Mountain. He said, don't mess up any plans he got for the night, that night, you feel me? And stay in there and have a good time. In which Peter simply didn't. You feel me? And the dude, Shocker, actually, there was two Shockers in the movie. The first Shockers, it was like, kind of pan. It, it looked like a kind of resemblance in the comics, you feel me, with the colors and the clothes on. But that Shocker was uh, not cooperating right with the Vulture. And Vulture straight marked his ass, killed him. So the black dude that you see in the uh, trailer became Shocker. You feel me? So yeah, shock. That's the black dude. Shocker was out there trying to fight Spidey. Just know Spidey. This he ain't uh, whip whip his ass. His homeboy helped him out a little bit because his web shooters got thrown away. So and the, boy, the homeboy found him and then webbed up Shocker. But uh, yeah. So then right. And so then freaking. Uh oh shit. I'm not, I'm not even looking. Oh the the females attacking me. Oh snap. And so uh then right. They eventually got there by the stop the plans. They fight. Peter getting fucked up. Now he ain't really they ain't really fight. But the little wings that freaking Vulture got like was going like in circles and Peter wasn't realizing that it wasn't hitting him, but freaking that <coughs> that old green goblin. Okay. That was knocking cylinders that he was like around. So it would crunch on him, which it did. You know, and all this other stuff, you feel me? He got out of it eventually. Played a little homage to the original comics with the uh, Spidey, not Spidey sense, but acknowledging that. You feel me? With the half face, half mask, and the water and shit. You feel me? Uh, so, what do I have to do? Do I have to fire everybody till it's over? Do I knock one? I think I knocked these things out, right? I knocked this out. I don't even know if I, I don't know what to do, honestly. I haven't played this mission in so long. Uh, alright. Uh, oh shit. Eh, um. What, what am I supposed to do? I'm so confused, y'all. Somebody help me. Um, dang, I'm getting, yeah, so that happened, um, eventually Peter went, oh, yeah, so he was, Vulture was trying to steal from Stark, and, you know, P 
Peter found that out hacking and shit and whatever. And uh, that's another thing with the Peter Parker. This Peter Parker, it didn't really show any. It showed some kind of hacking skills, a little sign sign him being smart. You feel me? But it was, main, it was mainly from his homeboy Ned. You feel me? Mainly. It wasn't everything. Because in the comics, you know, Peter Parker's one of the smartest people on the planet. But they didn't really show that in the first two reboots. Not reboots. First two versions of uh, Spider-Man. A little bit from in the second one, but not not in the first one. But, uh, yeah, man. So, yeah, that happened and shit, you feel me? And, and, and yeah. But with, since, yeah, I get it. Yeah, Spider-Man won. Okay. And Liz had to move to Oregon because her father locked up now. And she had to go. And so, Spidey a little upset. You feel me? And since we kind of got that out the way, let's talk about some other stuff. Okay. Flash Thompson in the movie is the Indian dude from the movie Dope. When I first seen that joke, I was like, nigga, what? Because I'm not hating or anything. I'm just like, I expected Flash to be like, in the comics, a buff white dude, blonde hair, and is like a jock, you feel me? But in that joke, they made it a little modernized, you feel me? He won't got really that much bullies like that in the world. We got freaking like, that joke in the movie, the dude from Dope who was Flash Thompson, Flash Thompson. He was like some rich preppy type dude. That's what he kind of was, you feel me? I like how they switched that up and modernized it, you feel me? Because that's how most of the uh, bullies are these days, you feel me? Because, and, um, yeah, that was cool. And, uh, the girl, Michelle, that's, that's her who's in Daya plays. We find out in the end of the movie that she's actually Mary Jane, but she's actually MJ. Because at the end of the jump, when she was pronounced Captain or whatever, the little academic jump, she was like, Oh, my friends call me MJ. So I'm like, son, Michelle ain't her real name. It's Mary Jane. But they call him car. They probably call him Michelle for short or MJ. So you know we, you know how M, you know who MJ is. You know we're gonna find out eventually. You feel me? Oh, where's Venom at, nigga? Where's? Okay, where's? Okay. Oh, we still got Venom. Okay, so yeah, that jump was crazy. A Zendaya character though was actually that that Mary Jane going is really different from the comics and other movies. That joint is like. She's like more of a loner type, but she's funny as a mug. She's very sarcastic. She looks like she gives no fluffs whatsoever in life. She do and stuff, but and she kind of got a crush on Peter, but he don't realize it. But yeah, and Donald Glover character, my man's childish Gambino. We can call it Donald Glover because he's acting, he's making music right now. So Donald Glover, bro, um, <coughs> my fault. In the movie. He plays a character named Aaron Davis. And this is the most interesting, probably, is one of the most interesting jumps in the uh, movie. But he has played a, he's playing a character named Aaron Davis. And Aaron Davis in the comics is the Prowler. And the Prowler is like a villain anti-hero, I think. I mean, yeah, he kind of beat bad guys, but for money. So, but, and he's like very serious about it. You feel me? So, yeah, he's like a villain anti-hero. So the Prowler, right? Uh, his nephew is Miles Morales. So yeah, Aaron Davis and Prowler, they all in the Ultimate Universe, but his nephew is Miles Morales B in the comic. So if that Bino playing Aaron Davis in a movie, that means Miles Morales could possibly end up in the uh, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And I mean, I mean, be be seen because he obviously do. You feel me? He 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 exists because Aaron Davis exists. And in the movie, he was like. Cause when he like, the, cause Donald Glover he in two scenes, okay. The first scene is like you see in a trailer where Shocker is testing out the weapons and shit. And they're doing some type of weapon deal. Um, yeah, Spidey interrupts it. That was like in the uh, Liz party and stuff. That's when that happens. You feel me? So dang, I knocked him out and I was laid out. I'm just doing this move the whole time. Y'all realize that, right? I'm, 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 I'm just starting. I'm not even doing any combo. Let me do. Let me mix it up. But uh, yeah, you feel me? And that's when. Um, Spider-Man, he, when he got there, and like, because Spider-Man phone rang because he was like in stealth mode and watching on what they was on, and then Shocker was like, hey, what was that noise? And then they was, he, they was like, oh, you try to set us up and point the gun at Bino. And then Spidey came down and was like, no, 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 if you have anybody to shoot, shoot me. And then Bino did. And then was like a car chasing with the alien weapons and shit. So, yeah, man. And then... They, the second scene was uh they was looking for Bino again, and they found they found him where he lived and it was like a car like a garage with a whole bunch of cars and that stuff that type stuff. And uh, 
they was talking whatever and seeing what was the uh, why Spidey was trying to find out why Donald Glover was there, but he kind of skipped past that and was like, over the past few weeks, he was like, you really need to take care of those guys. I don't want those weapons in my city. I got a nephew that lives here. And when he said that, son, my mouth was like, <gasps> my mouth was wide open, son, because I knew he was talking about Miles Morales. So I'm thinking, son, automatically in my head, I'm thinking about oh, Peter Parker going to die in uh, 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 Infinity War. Miles Morales going to power it, but nah, son, they got a Spider-Man movie with Peter Parker planned out for after Infinity War. So I'm like, nah, I don't know when it's going to happen, but Miles Morales does exist in this universe, son. And if they do do a Miles Morales movie, I wonder how it's going to work with, um, like, it's, because Childish Gambino really don't got that that body type pause. Not I'm worrying about my mind. I'm just saying, like from the comics, he don't have that uh, like athletic body type. You feel me? Or like some type of athleticness or buff. I mean, he kind of ripped, but he's like one of them dudes with them body types that's like ripped or like seems super athletic but doesn't do anything in the gym whatsoever. That's just like how his his body, blood, DNA genes is. You feel me? So I don't think. I mean, he wanted to put on a lot of muscle and stuff. For that to happen, because Prowler is skilled at a lot of fighting styles and has a, a Olympic level level athleticness or athletics. I, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Hank Pym. Okay, that has nothing to do with what I'm saying. A oh, Bill Foster, RP. That has nothing. I'm sorry. I'm just looking at that. So yeah, um, yeah, I seen that joint. That joint was crazy. Can't can't wait. You feel me? What else is there to talk about, man? Uh, freaking. I mean, have I trying to think? Did I talk about anything? Overall, though, it was a good movie. Y'all should definitely go peep it out. I don't know if it's the best Spider-Man movie overall. Cause I don't know. Cause the other Spider-Man movies I can't find did have better action, but that was probably pretty much the only thing they have over this Spider-Man movie. You feel me? So I honestly do not know, man. I'm trying to think. I, I, I don't know, man. What else, what else is, do I need to talk about in a movie, bro? Because we, we just finished the mission right here, so it'll be a perfect point to st a perfect, like, thing to stop at. <coughs> oh, shit. Oh. <coughs> so, uh, yeah, let me, I actually got a little bit more to talk about. That in the movie, Iron Man is impressed with, uh, with, uh, with, um, but what Peter Parker did was stopping Vulture and stuff, and stopping the Stark shit from getting fucked up by Vulture. So, uh, Freaking, what's my call? He tried to invite him to the Avengers, bring him to the new Avengers thing. You feel me? Uh, to the new Avengers facility that y'all see at the end of Civil War, because the Spider-Man movie takes place two months after Civil the events of Civil War. You feel me? So yeah, and he's talking about oh, you, you want to be an Avenger, all this other stuff. We can. You could sit you next to Vision, but Vision isn't really too good on doors or walls. Because y'all know in Civil War, Vision, he just walks right through the motherfucker. You know what I mean? And Spider was like, no, he just wants to stay on ground and take care of Queens. It was kind of like a test. I mean, I mean, at least it seemed like that. You feel me? But then Pepper Potts, have, who, and who you haven't seen since Iron Man 3 came, comes out of the room. And it's like a whole bunch of press and stuff. And talking about, oh, where's Peter going? And he was like, he, yeah. It's, he was he, he prepared him a whole new suit and everything. He was about to announce to the press that he's the new member of, of Avengers and stuff. That didn't work out eventually. You feel me? And at the end of the movie, son, the craziest part, Spider-Man put on the suit because he took got the suit taken away from him after the joint, as you see. You see it in the trailer, how Iron Man took the suit away from him, and he trying to like, put the boat back together. Y'all seen the trailer. So after that point, he take the suit from him, and he got that little classic joint he rocked. You know, y'all already know how spider Man suit was like looking like before he got the real suit. You feel me? It's like it's the bootleg version of the suit. So that happens, you feel me? And uh Yeah. He was fighting in that. So he tried Iron Man gave him back the suit after all that drawing had like the final minutes of the movie. He put it on and then the camera angle was like it was moving and it moved to like when he put it on like and put the mask on you see Aunt May in the background blurred and then it zooms into him and she was like what the fuck in the movie just like stop it was funny because now Aunt May in the first movie know who, that he's Spider-Man and stuff and they cut out right when she was about to say fuck you feel me because that, that, was, that was funny as shit man and I can't wait for the future 
of uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe because it's definitely bright now. Adding all these characters from different universes and the comics all in there. It's definitely going to be interesting, man. I can't wait for the next Spider-Man movie, but that's not going to be in another two years because we've got Infinity War coming out next year. And if anything, we're coming out the other two years. So it's going to be a Spider-Man movie and another Avengers movie in two years, bro. And we got Black Panther coming up next year also. And we got uh, Thor coming out this November. And I still haven't seen Doctor Strange yet. I know Doctor Strange will be in Thor. So I definitely got to see Doctor Strange real quick. You feel me? So uh, I'm thinking, is that everything to talk about? Uh, Yeah, they didn't show. They don't have Harry in the, uh, in the movie. And no Osborns. No Oz. What's the Osborns like? Osborne Labs or something, and whatever his company is called, none of that. Uh, MJ's turned out to be Michelle at the end of the movie. So, um, Uncle Ben isn't mentioned in the movie because uh, I don't think uh, that Marvel has the rights to that. I think Sony still has the rights to that. You feel me? And, uh, yeah, so he didn't really bring up Uncle Ben. I mean, everybody knows the reason why Spider Man became Spider Man. That's why they didn't even do an origin story in this movie. Uh, so, oh, I just realized this is the Venom who Scorpion and Matt Gargan, this is Venom in the, in the game. I forgot about that. But also, before we uh, even get back to on that, yeah, Uncle Ben, everybody know how Spider-Man became Spider-Man, so they had to redo it, you feel me? They didn't bring it up. They did bring up that in the movie that Oh Man has been going through a lot. That's all they said. They didn't really mention Uncle Ben that whatsoever about any uncle, you feel me? So, uh, yeah, man. Um... So, um, yeah, I mean, Uncle Ben, of course we know. We wonder who, who will Uncle Ben be, because the Aunt Man movie is kind of young. I mean, she probably in her 40, mid-40s in that movie. She look good, though, I can't front. <laughs> but now, Matt Gargan, bro, the dude that's Scorpion in the comics, he was in the movie, but he wasn't Scorpion. Uh, he had a Scorpion tattoo in the back of his neck. Uh, He was trying to rob the bank. And uh, y'all see it in the trailer. When the, everybody with the Avengers mask on. Trying to rob the bank, you feel me? That ain't work out for him. So it is an end credit scenes when Matt Gargan walks up to the vulture in prison. And be like, word on the street. Like, you know who the Batman's identity is, you feel me? And Vulture being a real G-ass nigga not snitching. And lied to him like he don't. If he did, Spider-Man would be dead already. You feel me? Like that. Because Matt Gargan was saying he, he got some guys on the outside that's trying to take care of... Uh, Spider-Man. Now that means any like a villain, a villain. You feel me? Um, he want to kill Spider-Man. You feel me? But uh, but that's Scor Scorpion. Bro. He's talking to Vulture. So Loki could be thinking about the Sinister Six in a movie. And that was the plans before Amazing Spider-Man got rebooted again. You feel me? So we don't, we don't know, man. But Scorpion wasn't like a big, uh, like a core member of the Sinister Sinister Six in uh, the comics. So we honestly don't know. But hey, it's a possibility, bro. Trying to think of any, there was no Venom, but y'all know Venom, the standalone movie of Venom and Carnage is supposed to come out. First, they said, because I think it's made by Sony, I don't know. First, they said that it's not going to be part of the, the Marvel Cinematic Universe or Spider Man's universe, which I thought was super stupid. Like, how you going to make a a, a a villain movie and not have the superhero in it or in the same universe? It's just a villain. Like, who's going to stop Venom then or Carnage? I think, I think, because you know, Venom in the comics, he, be, I don't know, there's a lot of. Venom's now. It's kind of different, but he, Venom at one point was an anti-hero, so we don't know. We might see that version. I hope the Venom looked better than the Spider-Man 3 villain, because I, I can't find that Venom was shitty. But, um, yeah, but now, then, for, that's when I first heard, but then I thought, I, I seen something on IGN, I think, where freaking the, and that was in the universe. I'm like, this confusing me, bro. I don't know when the movie was to come out or be filmed or something. But I don't know, man. Alright, what else is that talk? Is that everything, bro? I'm trying to think, yo. That's everything. So, yeah. They did show in the movie, though, like, something that's not Spider-Man. It's kind of Spider-Man related. It's Marvel Cinematic Universe Avengers related. Uh, they, the, when they, you should see them in the trailer, uh, Captain America, like, on a PSA tape. Uh, the dude, the gym teacher, who's actually, uh... Hannibus, Hannibus Burrow, I think that's how you say his name, that dude is hilarious to me, though. that's the funniest dude ever, bro, um, he was the gym teacher, he was like, uh, I, the dude is like a criminal now, or whatever, but by the government, I'm supposed to show you this or something, so, yeah, so it was, yeah, I was like, because I was thinking, why is Captain America on the TV if that dude is not like, you know what I'm saying, 
not even supposed to, he's kind of crap with him. But they did the show it, bro. It's still, it's about the government, and they didn't change it yet. So, oh well. Uh, but John Favreau, I think that's his name, or Happy Hogan, in the movie he did talk about Thor's getting a new belt for the uh, his hammer, and that they are making a prototype, a new Captain America show, a prototype. Cause y'all know how Captain America sh show he just threw that bitch away after uh, Civil War. Feel me? They are making a new, a new prototype for that, bro. Feel me? That's the only other thing. They really, I think it was some archive footage of Ant Man in the movie. I think. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, that's. Oh yeah, there was uh when uh first one like when Spider Man was talking about. I mean Peter Parker knew he was talking like talking to other people in school talking about. Oh yeah, he knows Spider Man and stuff, whatever. Freaking Flash was like, oh yeah, and I had a threesome with Black Widow. <laughs> I was like, oh hell no, nigga. But in that movie, bro, they actually had, like that. It was a. It was it was like a teen movie. Like there was some like they were talking about penises or something. Or sex. They was doing the F Mary kill with the Avengers and shit. I was like, dang. But isn't this is teens? You feel me? They actually got something right. You feel me? Because not only is that like a superhero movie or action movie, it's, it's a teenage movie. We don't have a lot of those these days. If we do, they direct the DVD on Netflix, Redbox, whatever. Redbox still exists. I don't know. But man, I think it's time to freaking stop the video right here. You feel me? I think so. Y'all think we should? You need my help to do right, I, I think we should. There's really nothing to talk about at this point, man. So, um, guys, thanks for watching. Um, for the people that actually watch it for the walkthrough, thanks for people for staying through if you did. You feel me through the spoiler review of a uh, Spider-Man Homecoming. Good movie. Y'all should definitely go check it out. You feel me? But guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and please don't forget to share with your friends. You feel me? So, um, Bye.